In this video, I am going to show you how to enable port forwarding and DMSZ configuration in ASUS RTAX 3000 Wi-Fi router. First, we need to log in the router with the IP address. For finding the IP address, if we are connected with Wi-Fi or network, we can select the network adapter and then press the details. Here, we are able to see the default gateway. That default gateway will be the IP of router. I need to enter the IP in browser. Then enter the login credentials. Default login is admin admin. The first time of configuration, we had to set the username and password for this system. Here I am using admin. The password is I changed to password. Here I am using the different password other than admin. Once after login, click on the van. Here we are able to see virtual ports or port forwarding and then enable the port forwarding. Once after enabling the port forwarding, we need to add the profile. Here we are able to see single click port forwarding options for port forwarding the FTP, TFTP options. But I am not choosing that one. I am creating a custom port forwarding. For this purpose, we need to enter a service name. Then select the protocol. If it is TCP, we can use TCP. If it is UDP, we can choose UDP. Or both UDP and TCP we can use. Then enter the external port. If you want to use a range of port, we can select the range of port here. Enter the external port range. If you want to use the external port range, we can use the external port range. If you want to use single port, we can enter the single port only. Here I am using only single port and then enter the internal port. The same port I am using for internal access. Then enter the internal server IP address. Here I am using 192.168.50.2. Then enter the source IP. I am leaving the source IP as blank. Then press the OK button. Now our port forwarding is finished. Here we are able to see multiple ports already added for different purposes. If you want to delete any of the port forwarding policy, we can press the delete button on the corresponding policy. If you want to disable completely the port forwarding, we can disable the port forwarding directly. If you want to enable the DMSZ, we are able to see the DMSZ tab on the top. Then press the enable DMSZ feature. Then Enter the IP of DMSZ server, then press the apply button. If you want to delete the DMSZ option or if you want to disable the DMSZ option, we can simply press the enable DMSZ radio as no, then press the apply button. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.